friends, it is I, Taru Hunter, Taru, and we're back again in another episode of Dark and Light. Guys, guys, I don't know if you notice, but there have been some massive texture changes to the wood tier of things. I don't know when this happened. I haven't been in the game for a couple of days, but it is it is quite quite the change. Look here, this is a stone. Stone has a different look. Oh my gosh. Ah! Guys! Look what they did! I don't know how I feel about this. They changed the wooden barriers. They changed the wooden ramps. Everything wood looks totally different. It actually looks like wood now instead of like plaster like it did before. Oh my gosh, look at the ceiling. Oh my gosh, look at the, the roof pieces. Whoa! Guys! Huge, huge change. And it wasn't that long ago that I was in here, so I don't know when this change occurred, but it's really exciting. So guys, if you liked today's episode, please remember to hit that like button. And if you are new here, please subscribe. And as always, leave me comments down below. Let me know what you think of what's going on. Let me know what you think of the new texture changes. Holy bejesus. It's a big, big difference. It's a whole new world. <laughs> oh my. Alright, so I wanted to test out our wolfy friend. Uh, let's see. The pig will attack. What level is the pig? Four. Perfect. Let's see how quickly we can end this boar. 64 damage per bite. That is no joke to start out. This guy is only level 27, and he's doing 60% of what our level 100 griffin is doing. So that gives you an idea of what this guy's damage looks like. Now, I don't know how much his damage is going to go up with each level, but man, to start out with, he is, he is very legit. I don't know if there's been other texture changes. I feel like there have been. I feel like there was like a huge change to the overall look of the game. Like even this guy looks a little different. I don't know. Maybe I'm going crazy. Maybe I'm just expecting something because of the changes that were made with the wood. But I, I think I like it. I'm not sure. I think part of it is it's just weird right now because I'm not used to it. Now, I'm not seeing any changes that were made to the straw. Which makes sense, because the straw looked pretty straw-like to begin with. But I think they were trying to really differentiate between the straw and the, and the wood, and it's definitely a thing now. Wow. Wow, 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 guys. I say, I say wow. Alright, so my plan for today was to take our buddy Ice Wolfie, who needs a name, I will come up with a name for him. Out. Let's see how many levels you got. Let's give you attacky, attacky, attacky. And wait. All the weight. And one health. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Wow, guys. It just, it looks so different. And it helps me more clearly see where my barriers are compared to the old ratty barriers. Like before... My barrier pieces looked fairly similar to the old pieces, but now there's there's a very clear delineation. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Super cool. All right. So, yeah. And the foundations? Wow. I just keep saying wow, but it's true. Like there's been it's been a huge huge change. Huge change, guys. This is a game I played for many times. I don't remember seeing this in any of the patch notes either. Oh, game developers and your hidden patches. Hey, Angel Baby, don't scratch my chair. Ow, that was my arm. My cat's being needy. Oh, some sheep. Let's eat them. Try to get the levels on this guy. Oh, yeah. Wrecked that sheep. One bite. One bite. I wasn't even able to see what the damage was. That's how quickly we wrecked that sheep. Um, you're level 8. We're going to take you out. We got you. 67 still. Okay. So 60. But I leveled him, so he should do more. But apparently he does, like, ice stuff too. Oh, and he makes a horrible noise when he's hit. Am I not doing damage to this guy? What the fudge cakes? There we go. Alright. Game seems to be a little bit glitchified today. I'm struggling to find the hitboxes for things when I'm biting them. 
and I don't know. Or maybe it's just a little laggy? It doesn't seem to be laggy. I have a pretty good delay. I'm going to let him get his stand back real quick. Good boy. All right. It seems like I'm constantly having to move in order to be able to eat the stuff. I mean, that's okay. I don't mind that per se. But, hmm. I don't know. There's a Berinda. What level are you, sir? Four? You're mine. Die. Die, Berinda. Uh, nope. He flew away. Yeah, the game seems a little less smooth than normal, if that makes sense. I feel like... I don't know. It feels weird. I might be, like, having a moment of just weird... No, there's definitely... Definitely some weirdness happening. boop doop 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 Hmm. All right. Well, I'm I'm slightly concerned that his damage didn't go up even though I gave him 3 levels in attack. Or maybe he was doing 64 and now he's doing 67, so maybe he only gets 1 point of damage per level, which would really suck. But I say fair enough. Let's kill this goblin. Why aren't you doing the thing? Do the thing. Attack the goblin. Attack the goblin. Seems like their hitboxes are not right right now. Guys, did you break the game with your patch? Is that what you did? Uh, I don't want to mess with all those hyenas. That's a lot of hyenas. I mean, 67 damage is nothing to uh, scoff at, but what level is that guy? I don't know. Yeah, it just feels, it feels slightly laggy. I'm not hugely complaining about that because, like, yeah. So that definitely was like three, I'm going to bite one, two. Well, I killed it, so there's that, but. Come here. Come here, sheep. Hmm. I don't know, it feels a little funky. I don't know what it's going to look like when it's recorded, so you guys let me know if you're seeing any of the funky that I'm seeing when you're watching it. Do, 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 do. But anyways, the plan for today was to go around and test this guy out, get a couple of levels on him, which we have done. Oh wow, you know what? This looks like an old road. You see how there's a different texture here? Like there was an old road through here. Interesting. I've never noticed that before. It could have been here all along, and I just never noticed. But I just noticed that. That's cool. Alright, ADHD. Cut it out. <laughs> so we're going to head back to base with this guy. Maybe eat some things along the way. Yeah, I definitely am feeling, like, jittery. Like, the, like the movement isn't smooth. We're going to eat this boar. Yeah. 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 Killed him. Wow. Hello, Colossal Flathorn. You're level 8. I might be able to kill you. Yarp. 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 Yup. Killed you. Yay. Got him. This ice wolf's no joke. I like him. And I love how he looks. He just looks beautiful. But this is really annoying, this harvesting situation. Let me see if... Oh, hey, bro. I guess you're on aggressive. <laughs> Here, like, let's let him eat it. Let's see if he does it on his own. Good boy. He ate it on his own. All right, well. Maybe he just wants to eat on his own. Life choices. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do the thing where we jump. Yay. Back in the barn. Burp, 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 burp. Wow. This whole new look of things is throwing me a little bit. But it's okay. I will get used to it. <laughs> so I wanted to also get some questing done and work towards actually 
you know, getting ourselves an ice elemental so that we have a refrigerator. I want to, I've got so many plans. I want to eventually build like a cool stone mage tower. I want to build a tree fort. I've got, I've got all kinds of plans, guys, and they have yet to be put into action. So let's see what quests we have. Well, those things are kind of a ways away for me to be able to get. So let's see what else. Plant. Craft a small crop plot. Okay. And craft a compost bin. I can do those things. Crop plot. Small. 10, 20, and 25 stone. Okay. Let's see what we got. We got 20 of those. End of stone. We've got, mm, let's put that in there. Uh, da, 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 we've got five and 60. And what was the other thing I needed? Crop plot, small, 10 straw. All right, let's see if we have any in the bench. The only problem with straw is it goes bad. So if I'm not on for, ah, perfect. If I'm not on for a couple days, I tend to lose my straw. But in this case, not a problem. So let's make a small crop plot crop plot. Craft. Beautiful. Oh no! Bugger. Well guys, we did the stupid. But it's a good example. Task Farming begins. Farming crop plots provides you with a variety of ingredients from the seedlings you sow. Ingredients that are necessary in crafting items to tame creatures. Whoa. That's really loud. I have it turned down a little bit for you. All right. So we have made the fatal flaw of not having the thing activated when we crafted the thingy. So let's do this. Uh, we're going to place it right there. Then we're going to blow it up. All right, so we at least got half of everything back. Let's see. Crop plot, small. We need 20 wood and 30 twine. So let's go gather that out in the wilderness. Ugh. That is the one thing that I really, really, really don't like about the questing system in this game. Is if you don't have it active, it doesn't count. Very important to make sure that you have whatever quest it is you want active or else you're going to be really upset. All right, got a bunch of stuff. Good to go. So let's craft our crop plot, crop plot. Craft all one, and what do we need for a compost bin? Oops, helps if I can type. We need 12 more twine. Okay, so we can get that, no problem. All right, we did that. And now we need to craft the compost bin make three of them. Don't need three of them. Just need one. So that's one of the limiting factors I found as far as farming goes. They're, the compost is very slow to cook up. So you need to get started fairly early on with your composting. You need several bins. You need a whole bunch of charcoal in there. Charcoal is a resource that you're going to use a lot. You need it for your taming arrows. You need it for your compost. It's a bit of a problem. As you can see, Sauron has a lovely crop area going over here. And one of the really cool things about these are that they actually grow the cores, which is super important for going to claim the nodes around the world, the soul nodes, as well as some of the higher level crafting items require the cores in order to work. And of course we have a lovely mushroom. And the higher level mushrooms are needed to make the arrows, I think. The high tier arrows. Let me see. I don't know if I have access to that tier of crafting yet. It's going to be taming. And is it taming? No, it's uh, ranged. Ranged. And the iron hook arrow. So you can see on the iron hook arrow, you need one of those mushrooms for each iron hook arrow you make. So you have to start growing your mushrooms. You have to start growing your magical plants. You got to get all of that going pretty early on or else 
as you get down the road, you're going to really regret your life choices for not getting that farming stuff going a little earlier. All right. So let's see what other quests we've got. We've got house workbench, craft a house seal. Sure. Remember that you are but a lone champion, whereas your enemies are legion. Your odds on your own will simply not be in your favor. But do not be discouraged. All right, thanks, Adelina. Adelina. Craft a house seal. What do we have to do to craft a house seal? House. I'm guessing that's on the workbench. Yeah. All right, so let's go check the workbench. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. First, let's make some fairies. All right, house seal. We need magic shards, we need wood, and we need, oof, okay. I uh, don't know how much of that we have, but we shall see. All right, none there. Do we have any in the forge upstairs? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Something is attacking. Where? Oh, it's at the gate. Hi, Broski. You're fine. You can just do your thing. You can attack out back there, Mr. Hyena. Hyena face. I wonder if I can shoot him. Hi, jerk face. Oh, 44. Not going to bother with him. He can just stand out back there and poke himself on the fence. He can't get in. ha ha ha. Alright, so we need some iron ingots. I thought I had some, but I guess they're all used up. <laughs> Miscellaneous? Nope. Um... Gonna check on here. I have 16. Okay, so how many do I need? Do, 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 do. I need 30. Okay. Well, I have 16 and I have enough to make 14 more. So that's 30. Perfect. Alright, so. Alright, take this and this and these, but we do need to go on a gathering run for sure. All right, what else was needed for the house seal? So what the house seal does is it creates a protective barrier around your house. It is fueled by magic essence, and it's useful if you're playing PvP. If you're on a PvE server, it's really not necessary, but it's one of the quests, so we're going to do it. But what it does is it allows your structures to not take damage while you are away, which can be super useful. Let me see. All right. So the only item we're missing. Okay. Cool. So we just got to wait for those iron ingots to cook up. I'm going to go eat this hyena. Probably with my griffin because it'll be the easiest. Do, 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 All right, here we go. It is dark out here. Where is the jerk face, hyena? Come here, yoink. Hey, broski. Nobody, buddy. Yay, ate his face. All right. All right, he seems to be harvesting okay. Hmm. It was weird that my ice wolf was being sort of glitchy. But it's okay. Wah! All right, we're back in the barn. Land. Do, do, do. Get out of the back of the wyvern. Okay. There we go. Eh. Oh my gosh. Would you please turn? Thank you. So the inability of griffins to walk backwards is a pain in the patookas for sure eh. all right we're just gonna park you facing this way 
Yes, we are. Too much trouble to do something else. All right, let's close this back door. Deep, 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 deep. All right, let's go see how our iron is smelting up. And if we're close to being finished, then we'll make our house seal. Yay, house seal. But yeah, it's not an important item to have when you are playing on a PvE server such as this. But, you know, it'll be cool to show you guys what it looks like and what it does. Blink. All right, cool. Put out the fire. All right, let's go down here. Do, 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 do. I can't believe that we had the exact right amount for it. It was as if it was Providence. Okay, make sure. Okay, got the quest. I want to make sure. I was like, I'm not doing this twice. Nope. All right, we're going to craft this item. Banana. -na. Beautiful. All right, so we got that. We're going to place the house seal. Oh, wow. We unlocked a whole bunch. Ah, it got dark. Fairy, come and save me. All right. So we're going to go place the house seal. We're going to place it up here on the top floor because that just makes sense. Oh, hey, look. Who is that? Automated. Hi, automated. All right. Let's place this bugger. We're going to do it like right here. Good stuff. All right. So once you're in here, you can make a house flag, you can make other things, but mainly it will provide a protective barrier around your house if you put a magic thingy on it. Magic essence, that would be the word I was looking for. So we put a magic essence on it and we activate it. And it provides a really big protective barrier. I'm going to go outside so I can show you guys this protective barrier around your house. That's almost perfect for this little spot. So big old square of blue. Everything inside is protected. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right. So we did that quest. We did the planting quest. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And we're going to shut it down. Bam. All right. So as you can see, it takes one magic essence per turn on. So don't waste them. All right. Other quests. Let us see. Craft House's medical flag. Mm, do I even have that yet? I don't think I have that yet. That would be under... House... House's medical flag. Okay. So I gotta craft more house things. Which I'm not gonna do right now because I don't really need any of those things. So, ah! Wrong thing. Task. Let's do... Summoning stone. I don't think I can do that either. I think that is taming. Yeah. I'm 65.5% of the way. Oh, you know what I do need to do? I need to make a cook pot. So let's, uh, let's see what we got to do to make a cook pot. Okay. Obviously not in there. Maybe in the worker bench. Let's try it. Cooking pot. There we go. What do we need? We need 20. Ugh. All right, so we need a bunch of wood. We need a bunch of iron. So let's go gather some iron. Let's go take out one of our panthers because they're awesome and can carry all the things. And we're going to go up on the hill and gather up a bunch of the iron. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Nope, not fodder. T'Challa, hey buddy. Where's your saddle? I bet you fodder stole it. <laughs> We're gonna steal it back. Because I don't have the stuff to make another panther, panther saddle right now. Alright, wait. 
Oh my god. T'Challa. You're disgusting and I love you. Uh, health. Attack, 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 Health. Attack, 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 T'Challa is now level 132, guys. And he will end everything, and I love him. Oh, yes. All right, so, ah, get out of the house. Okay. I wonder what his damage is now. So, my griffin is, like, 107. My ice wolf is at, like, 67. Let's see what T'Challa is. 48? Really? That's it? Well, that's lame. Lame attack and damage. But he's not really my damagey dude. I don't need him to be my damagey dude. I wonder if this does more. Probably. Let's see what his right click attack. Oh, I need to put some points in stamina. Ha! <laughs> Oops. Alright, we're going to attack this guy. 97. There we go. So his double attack does almost what my griffin does. Sweet. Man, my fairies seem to be running out really fast today. I don't know. Very annoying. Alright, so T'Challa is no friggin' joke. 97 with his right click. Er, come on, buddy. Up the hill. There we go. So we're going to go up the hill. This is probably the best iron gathering spot if your base is somewhere near here. There's a bunch of bunch of spots here. Uh, we're going to use a Serenian. Let's see. I'm going to see how many we get out of this node, and then we're going to compare using the other pick. All right, 137. For science! Let's see, 58... 90, 15, 25, 34. Alright, 134 compared to 137. So they're about the same, but I want to say that it's cheaper to repair the Serenian than it is to repair the other ones. So we're going to use that one. Oh, and that one we got 167 out of. <gasps> A Kibo! Hi, Bubber! He is cute. A pretty low level, so we'll leave him sleeping there. I'm gonna put all of this. Uh, a, a. Okay. And now we're gonna chop down all these trees as well. What was that shaky shake? That uh, made me a little nervous. I felt like an earth Ellie. Hmm. So we're going to chop down all these trees as well because we're going to need um, wood to light our fires for our... All right, how are you doing? Oh man, you're not even half full. You're a beast, bro. You're a beast. For our forges. All right, switch over to the pick again. Sweet. And I think there's like a couple more down here. But I want to gather this first. I know, this has been like the most riveting episode of Dark and Light ever. Lots of, lots of stuff happening here. Woo! But sometimes you gotta do stuff like this in order to be able to do the cooler stuff later on. So, I could have sworn there were, like, three or four nodes in here. Here we go. And I definitely want to get myself... Uh, that is an Earth Ellie. I see him. Right down there, smashing stuff up. Being all Earth Ellie jerk face. Alright, so let's get this... Ah! Let's get this node over here. Just keep an eyeball on him. Because I don't think I can take him on my panther. My panther is not nearly as tanky as my bear is. All right, and we're almost full anyways, so that works out perfectly. Boop, 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 boop. We're going to get out of here so we don't have to deal with 
Earth Ellie's. I'm still feeling that slightly glitchy movement, which I really don't like, but I'll take it. As long as it doesn't lag me out, that I'd be a little bit perturbed about. All right, so we're gonna do this. Come in here. It's times like these I wish I had a transfer gun. <laughs> I really am spoiled by all of the mods on Ark. I was checking out mods for this game. There do not seem to be any solid mods that don't have a lot of problems pretty much since the expansion came out. It looks like the devs really kinda screwed the pooch on that one with making the, when they released Shard of Faith, it made it so a lot of the mods here broke and then they never released a dev kit for Shard of Faith. So it's, it's a little sad, but I also don't mind it as long as they keep working on this game. Do you hear me devs? Do not quit working on this game. Do not give up on this game. I love it. It's great. It was my introduction into the world of survival games, and I would not be doing what I'm doing today without it. So, all right, how fat am I? I'm not too bad. So I really, I really hope one day this game goes into full release. I don't know when that's going to happen or if that's going to happen, but I feel like it has a ton of potential. I feel like. It has a solid core to it. It's different enough from other survival games that it doesn't feel like just a reskin. I just, I don't know. I guess we'll find out in the coming days and months. All right. So guys, I know that that was probably the most boring episode I've ever done. <laughs> Just me running around doing random stuff. And there weren't even really like a lot of places where I was like, here, let me cut this out and like bring you guys back when I'm doing something interesting. But I feel like that's pretty good. Mostly like showing off all of these new wooden textures is like a huge deal. I'm kind of super hyped about this. So we've got the new wooden ramp, the new wooden ceilings, the new wooden railing, and then obviously new wooden windows. Oh, and... Sauron has a wood as a stone door over here and the stone looks totally different. Look at that. Now I think maybe he has dyed it a little bit, but it looks different. So yeah, guys. So friends, if you like this episode, please hit that like button. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And as always, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about stuff you saw today and how boring this episode was. <laughs> And I will see you next time in Dark and Light. Bye, guys!